what you was talking but about. Is it a fact? You, you did not know what you was talking about. I'm sitting here telling you, no, it's, it is wasn't it a fact. fact. It wasn't a fact. It you listen to what she said, but that's not a fact. That don't make it a fact. Because she said that. It don't make it a fact because she said that is what I'm telling you. Okay, and this happened after is what I'm trying to it tell you. I'm not trying to argue that you have that somebody else. It's to be somebody else to be the daddy though, Neil. So my son know. told me that he don't think that's insane. So why did, and that was that's another thing. So why I not just have a conversation? You talk to me about like everything else. Like you, you I admitted my wrong to the situation. You know okay, the I'm possibility. You said that you fucked off with somebody. You said that. I said that. I did. Yeah, I did. But I'm like so that was a possibility right there. Okay, that I, I get that. I knew that. Time. So why are you yelling? That's all I'm saying. What What are you saying? You, I said that possibility that that that, that person that you said that you dealt with. There go your possibility right there, man. I mean, the whole time the baby won mine. No way. Okay, we're here the at that time. point. And I told her, I said, you like, lied. I'm, that that the you was not talking to her no more, but you told her now. that you was. That's how the conversation went. What y'all You said what's that again? I told him, I said, that you lied. I said, he, I told him that he lied. Those was not my words to him. But the baby still won mine. So. And I, hey, dummy. Are you proud or just playing stupid? No, I'm for his gift. I was telling my mama that it was some kind of spiritual thing that I wasn't, that I wasn't connecting with the baby. Like, I wasn't connecting with Shouter and I wasn't connecting with the baby. So, you know. I got a spiritual thing going on with me. Like, I'm a firm believer in the universe. And, um, and, uh, so I told my mama that. So my mama was like, why don't you just go and do a test? I was like, I don't know, because I feel bad, because I feel like I'm the daddy. Like, I feel like I, I feel bad. Like, you know, I want it to be mine. That would be devastating. So she was like, well, Rick, you got to find out. So I'm like, all right, well, you do it. Because I did it for one of my other babies before. I did it for Finelson, and it came back mine. So I'm like, Mom, you do it. I don't even want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because I'm already transitioning into trying to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, a man coming from my old ways and shit when I was young. But anyway, so Mom, do, do the shit. Mom, do, Mom, do, uh. Mom do, my mom do take care of the business. She swab the baby, swab herself. She send the shit. So boom, when the test come back, I tell the Neil bitch, I'm like, listen, I send her the motherfucker. I ain't say nothing. I ain't put nothing on no social media. I ain't do none of this shit. I ain't put nothing. No, I tell her. I said, all right, look, this what it is. Like this a grandmother and uh, this a grandmother and a grandchild paternity test, like. So a DNA test, like, so this is not like, like a father and and daughter, like they just saying it's saying to see is they related in any kind of way. It's saying on this paper that they not related. I tell her I don't want to talk about it no more. Just leave it where it's at. She like, I want to know for sure. I I want to woo woo woo. I shoot up there and get the test. I shoot up there handling the business. So the whole time, but I'm mad because I'm telling her, like, look, just leave it alone, shout it. Like, it just came back that the baby ain't related to my grandma, my mama. If this my real mama, if this my real deal mama, this my real deal mama, why would the baby not be related to my mama? This my real mama. How the baby ain't related? So you want me to go down there and take another test? For them to tell me that I ain't the dad, the baby ain't related to me. That's what you still want me to do. Like, you still, you wanna, you wanna, you not already stuck a hole, stuck stabbed a n Now you ready to go on, push it in, and kill a n right? I, I told you, you go down here, I ain't, I ain't post nothing, I ain't did nothing. You make me go down here and you do this shit for no reason. And when you know what's going on, I ain't gonna feel that. I'm going to turn up on you. I'm going to turn up on you on social media. What's crazy is, I'm telling her, I'm like, I don't need this for my look right now. Oh, you think it's funny, bitch? This is pimping here. I've been on Wheel of Fortune. Price is right. Oh, bitch, it's funny. Come on with it. Oh, boy, y'all rather piss off that crew than piss off the bottom. Oh, it's funny. Keep on laughing. Bring your face over here. Hey, 
say that shit. This the difference right here when it comes to a man and a woman. A man, a man, a man can go cheat and won't have no feelings. A man can go cheat with a woman and just because fat, she can be dumb as all out those. Just because her fat and she got some fat lips, a nigga wanna get his dick sucked and fuck her. And that's it. But he can really he gonna really have feelings for his woman at the house. You sound like his woman at the house, like it is what it is. Like he don't play by her. But a bitch, she go out and do this. Shit. When a woman cheat, it was some feelings involved. It's just dead on it. When a woman cheat, it was some shit involved. There was it, it been going on. Ain't no woman, ain't no woman just letting a motherfucker fuck on. They had one nice things, but I done had my share and my experience with women. When a woman fuck with a nigga, it's some feelings involved. Nigga over there putting this much dick in you. Ain't no way I'm finna accept you back. You over there telling that nigga all my being. I know you telling that nigga all my being. You be all right, nigga. You tough, right? I don't know what y'all talking about, cuz. My name ain't on no birth certificate, cuz. I wasn't even at the hospital when the baby had, when she had the baby. I wasn't even at the hospital. It left my mama house. It left my mama house and went way to Tampa, Florida to have a baby. She probably got pregnant by one of those 60 year old. That's how them young girls be. They go, <laughs> they go get pregnant by a nigga 57 years old. That was a movie. Give me back the money then. Fuck this hoe. Then she been staying in my mama house the whole time. That's what y'all, that's the point y'all missing. Y'all ain't understanding how much my family didn't really helped this girl over the last past four, five months. She been sitting around sneaking out, eating dick. And you come back to my mama house eating out my mama's spoons and silverware and shit. Fuck you talking about and I go over there and eat cereal. I'm in a bind, Nate. She tell me some, oh, she ain't want to do no only thing. You just been only trying to do something. Then, I never knew the whole year and a half we was together that this is a rapping hoe. The whole time, this been an old rap. Now this bitch want to come out with a song. What well, guy did say back in the day? Uh, gang bang your neighborhood around me when he throw up you see it. do anything for a chick you leave me and become a rapping hoe man man the clout so real now you a rapping hoe now you wanna go now you now you wanna shake the booty me well you would have been doing it before you with me you wasn't doing nothing before you were with me I gave you a chance to do I gave you a chance to come up. Everybody around me and brought something to the table. <laughs> Fuck you talking about for us, not just for me, for us. You was just trying to get in. You just thought you had an easy come up, ho. This ain't that. I was wrong because I could have told you that I did do something with somebody else when we went together, but honestly, I don't feel bad because I'm selling coach. Aye. I'm selling coach. Aye. I'm selling coach. Aye. I'm selling. Okay. I was going through a lot with you. Like, that relationship wasn't perfect. Like, when I did what I did, we weren't together. I didn't even cheat on you. I should have cheated. I should have. As much as you cheat, I, I definitely should have. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. Your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts ain't my thoughts. Bitch, I'm flowing straight from the survival scroll. Cut that bitch off. It was my birthday, and I wanted to go celebrate with my friends, but he's the type of person, he just wasn't feeling that. Like, he just didn't want me to go outside. So anyway, long story short, we broke up because of that. And um, I went on by my business. We was not together for a good, mm, I want to say like 
a good two weeks or something like that before we got back together. My coochie stank. But in that time, I was doing my own thing. We, I was single. You know, I was I was doing my own thing with an ex of mine. So that's why I say in the messages that they kept posting on all social medias, that's what I meant when I said I didn't know because I didn't know. I know what I did with that person and I knew that in my mind, I'm like, okay, so this is my nigga baby. Like this. Tell you. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> I understand why they was angry. Don't get me wrong. Like I totally get that. You know, I've been around y'all. Y'all was like my family at a point in time. Like I get why y'all did what you, you did what you did, but it was just the way you went about it. That's what I had an issue with. Like ask me you know if you you know y'all had a feeling or y'all had conversations feeling like my baby wasn't his baby i just felt like you could have just said something to me about it and we could have handled it and it just would have been what it was i get where i was wrong at i totally understand that and i'm not i'm not saying that you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that but some people are really fucking stupid <laughs> Did you ever notice that? A lot of people just was like, you know, it's not nobody's business, you know. But to me, I honestly feel like it kind of is because, you know, in the public, my baby was his baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> hold on. I love how he brought up when he said, I'm not, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. You're absolutely right. I'm not doing OnlyFans. I didn't do OnlyFans before I got with you, so I'm definitely not doing it to make you no money. What are we talking about? What? This ain't that? He wanted you to do OnlyFans for him. Yeah, he did. Man, I said no. Because I felt like, shit, if I'm going to do OnlyFans, I would have did that by myself when... Before. I'm not doing it for no nigga. I'm not going to make you no money. What? <laughs> A lot of shit pissed me off. Like, he got... And that's baby mama. Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> Getting pregnant by her ex. Tried to put it on finesse. Finesse running around with the baby with all in the camera, having a great old time with the baby. You know, he says he didn't feel any real connection with the baby though, you know? So he chooses to have his mom do a DNA test. And it turns out that it's not, it's not his baby. So Finesse has to deal with, you know, the trauma of thinking he brought the child into this world. And he finds out that it's not his kid, you know. And a lot of dudes have been through this same story, you know. It's fucked up that uh, we got to see it play out live and direct from uh, a famous person that, you know, we want to see when and stuff like that, or, you know, you hate him or love him, it don't matter. But, you know, I, I fucked with his music here and there, and, you know, he, he, he nice on the mic, I, I, I believe so. So, you know, I, I put up a couple of compilations of him uh, rapping his little, uh, you know, you know, acapella and shit like that. But we got this story coming out, you know, uh, it's fucked up that he has to live with the fact that he trusted a woman, you know, to be honest. And he had her living with moms and doing this and doing that, probably providing everything for this woman and making sure she was taken care of. And he's the one getting finessed two times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of his girls already left. This was the the two out of the three that have stayed. and. You know, he was living this polygamous lifestyle and he was enjoying himself, supposedly, you know, until now he, he figures out he only has one kid now. He thought he got both of his baby mothers pregnant at the same time and stuff like that. And 
he had all kind of pictures going on and all kind of videos talking about how he getting both of them uh, in check and discipline and whatever the case might be on his P shit. But at the end of the day, we see how he lives end up, you know, they end up finessed as well. You can probably imagine how much money and time and resources that Finesse gave this woman throughout this little uh, eight months of her being pregnant, you know. And then uh, giving birth to the baby and being around the baby. And, you know, the baby was probably like six months. And most of them videos that I've seen with Finesse um, holding the baby and stuff like that. But, yeah, it all comes out, you know. If they get the DNA test, they could have got the DNA test where she was in the womb. About like I think it's like six months, eight months or something like that of pregnancy. You can get a DNA test while the baby's still in the womb. So obviously he was really adamant about not getting a DNA test and he felt like this is his baby and stuff like that. And you get finesse sometimes, you know, when you're out here playing the game and trying to be part of a cocky vibe and stuff like that, you know, a whole uh, organization, if you will, you know, but it's fucked up that uh, Finesse got to deal with this and many men has to deal with this before, but we do want to bring up the fact that uh, Nia Love was in Finesse life, she had the bag, she had the famous rapper that she supposedly wanted, and she wouldn't listen to shit he asked her to do. How do you actually have the person that you say you want, say you love, want to be around? Um, you got this, you got exposed to this lifestyle that you never got to experience before. And you're going to still try to finesse you. You're still going to let your ex bust a nut in you. And you come back to finesse leaking, leaking out the next man's sperm. And now it's not his kid. And like I said, a lot of men have to deal with the same shit. Within two weeks, she's getting the next man to bust multiple nuts in her and get her pregnant. And next thing you know, you're holding a baby that's not yours, cuddling and suckling with the baby, feeding it, holding it close, grabbing the bottle, making the bottles, changing the diapers. And you looking like, this ain't even my kid. Look, this it can't be my kid. Look at his eyebrows. Whatever the fuck. It's fucked up. It's a fucked up situation. Like I said, she had the bag. She refused to do anything he asked. And then she turns around and cheats on the man and gets pregnant by the next man. Keep the next nigga away from the baby. Have him finesse. Hold the next nigga baby. If that was my baby, I'd be hot. Fuck no, Finesse ain't holding my freaking kid. And, oh yeah, I'm hot. I'm hot already. Any, anyway. That's why I'm angry little dude. Signs of acceptance of we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.